happy Monday. It was definitely a cold afternoon across West Texas. Many of us only climbed into the mid and upper 20s. A couple of our southern counties managed to climb into the lower 30s, but in general, uh, we stayed below freezing this afternoon. Temperatures well below where they should be this time of year. It is going to be a cold night. Temperatures dropping into the low and mid 20s. I've got a low right around 24 degrees. We're talking about a mostly cloudy or an overcast sky. We could see uh, a little bit of sleet or freezing rain as we head into the overnight and then early into your Tuesday morning. If you manage to avoid the sleet or freezing rain late tonight, early tomorrow morning, we're definitely going to be talking about sleet and freezing rain as we head into your Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures only climbing once again into the mid and upper 20s. We're actually talking about a winter storm warning that is in effect for the entire area. That is going to run uh, through the later part of Wednesday morning and then early into Wednesday afternoon. We could be talking about a significant ice event across West, West Texas. Let's begin to break this down for you. Here's what Futurecast looks like. We get to the Tuesday morning commute. I want you to pay attention to the fact that many of us are dry, uh, but we are going to begin to see a little bit of mixed precipitation show up across the area. A little bit of sleet, uh, a little a bit of freezing rain. This is going to continue through the later part of the morning and then early into the afternoon, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're talking about a little bit of sleep, freezing rain. Maybe we're even talking about a little bit of liquid precipitation where the temperature's managing uh, to rise above freezing. Now, it looks like the sleet and freezing rain is only going to become more widespread through the later part of the afternoon and then early into the evening. And I want you to be mindful of this. If you are still going to work tomorrow, uh, the evening commute could definitely be on the slower end of the spectrum if we are talking about frozen precipitation. It looks like this is going to be most widespread and most intense through the overnight and then early into your Wednesday morning where we're talking about widespread frozen precipitation across all of West Texas. But I want you to pay attention to what happens as we head into Wednesday afternoon, 1, 1 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Our temperatures are beginning to climb just a little bit. Look at this. Temperatures actually sitting 33, 34, 35 degrees. Now, instead of frozen precipitation, see all this green that's beginning to build into West Texas? Now we're just talking about straight liquid precipitation. And from there, it actually looks like we're going to be talking about just rain as we head into the later part of Wednesday afternoon and then through Wednesday evening. These are forecast ice totals through the lunch hour on Wednesday. Some of us are looking at three quarters of an inch to an inch of frozen precipitation. I just want to give you some general impacts of ice accumulation. When we're talking about a quarter of an inch or less, you should definitely avoid unnecessary travel. Light ice is going to begin to accumulate on the trees, and then we're talking about scattered power outages. Then you get to that quarter of an inch to a half an inch category and anything above, and we're talking about icy roads. You should avoid all travel if necessary. And then we're talking about broken tree limbs. That's obviously going to have the potential to cause some structural damage. And then we're talking about numerous power outages. So that's definitely something that you should be prepared for, as especially as we head into the earliest hours of Wednesday morning. Now, if you do have to be out on the roads, take it slow. Give yourself extra time on your commute. Some of those roads, especially the less traveled ones, are definitely going to be a little slippery. Uh, we're talking about slick roadways. Leave extra space between you and the car in front of you just in case uh, you were to lose control of your vehicle. And then use your lights. Just turn on your lights to increase the visibility so other people can see you. When are we talking about the biggest impacts to society. That's definitely going to be Tuesday afternoon. We could be talking about moderate to at times major societal impacts. Remember, the temperatures are going to climb as we head into Wednesday. That means a lot of that frozen precipitation is going to melt. Wednesday afternoon, many of us climb into the low and mid 30s as long as temperatures get above freezing. That's what we're aiming for so that frozen precipitation can melt. 28 on Tuesday, 33 on Wednesday, 49 on Thursday. Look how temperatures climb as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A very similar scene for Abilene. 27 on Tuesday, 33 on Wednesday, 45 on Thursday. Back in the 50s and 60s as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.